Yogi. Yogi and Chi Chi. Check it out, guys. Pete tamed a bear. His name is Yogi, because of course it is. And this is his adorable little monkey, Chi Chi, because of course it is. How is everybody doing today? I'm Stately, and we are on my private PVE Atlas server. I think I might be the only one on, but that's okay. I'm not going to let that stop me. We're going to go check out what is affectionately known as Squirrel Island today. Noble's set up shop there, and he says it's a nice island in the yellow zone. So I think we're going to go check it out. Let's um, check the supply situation. I have gear. Yes. I have, oh, lots of rotten meat. That's unfortunate. Um, I have some veggies. Veggies are good. My health is good. I need water. Fortunately, we have these nice water barrels. Do I have to open the lid to use it, really? I guess I do. Let's see, 241 out of 500 water, 468 and 468. Okay, ain't nobody going to be dying of thirst. That's good. And there's the Rio Grande, which I'm going to have to sail alone, I guess. That's okay. Let's, um, let's take one more look here. I want some... Some flammables, something to burn in case it gets really cold on the boat. So let me go chop down a tree and then we'll um, then we'll start heading north. Is that enough? That's probably not enough. That should be enough. We got a lot of elephants here. They just kind of come with the territory, I guess. Hey, free elephants, what's not to like? What time is it? It is 4 a.m. It's going to be getting light soon. And the water's quiet. So far, it never really seems to stay that way. And the ship has a level up available. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Two points. We're going to put all of that in sturdiness. Because that seems wise. Uh, Alrighty. Raise the anchor. No, that's not how you raise the anchor. Guess we'll just hit the raise anchor button. That seems like a good way of going about it. Let's take a look here. All right. Right click on the map and north is Attaway. Wait, what? Oh, it just takes the compass a little while to to turn around. Okay. Alright. So that's the way we're going. We need to turn this bad boy around. And fortunately, you can actually turn these things, albeit stupid slowly, with the sails down. But in a place like this, it's a hell of a lot easier than trying to maneuver your way out of this little bay. Is that an elephant? You're damn right that's an elephant. He's not tame or anything, they just kind of hang around the base. This uh, island that we found, it comes with free shows. There's crocodiles and elephants on the island, they can't stand each other. So at any given point in time, there's a fairly good chance that you can watch an elephant and a crocodile fight each other to the death. It's good fun. It's like Ringling Brothers, if Ringling Brothers was a blood sport. Oh, jeez, I gotta go directly against the wind here. Not a whole lot to be done about that. This should be enough to get us going. It's kind of irritating to sail these guys. Uh, solo? But it's doable. It's a little bit psycho. 
but this is um, this is a game that depends. And now I'm heading southeast. How did that happen? <clears throat> this is a game that depends very much on emergent gameplay and stuff like that. I personally really like. I'm on this Discord, noob. You scrub. I'm just on the stream channel. Well, I oversteered a little bit. You're going to make your bear eat me? That's not kind. We tell you better than that, didn't we? I guess we didn't. Should make a gladiator ring. Yeah, I do want to have some kind of PvP at some point. Right now it's disabled server-wide, but I'm thinking maybe at some point there might be a... a grid location, a map dedicated exclusively to PvP. Just so that we can have fleet battles and stuff like that. The overall PvP gameplay, I don't think I have much to add to that. I mean, for stuff like that, you're better off on the official servers, I expect. So unless I can come up with some very specific type of PvP game that, that's appealing, I'll probably just keep focusing on PvE, but that doesn't mean I won't, don't want to have the occasional fight, you know? So Squirrel Island Noble is in the uh, southeast of the yellow zone, is that right? East side. Okay, that should be fine. And I'm heading pretty much due north. Ah, sailing the waves. Very restful. You taught your bear sodomy. <laughs> okay, Noble. That's nice. You know, there's some visual glitches, but there's also some really cool effects. Like, you can see the light shining through the sails and being blocked by the rigging here. I never noticed that, but that's really nice. That is well done. How goes Distant Worlds, DK? DK is participating in Eve, uh, Elite Dangerous's Distant Worlds um, expedition. Let's uh, let's try to get this crate. Because, hey, who doesn't like a loot crate? Looks like we're almost close to this. What is that noise? Oh, dolphins. Dolphins are so cute. Unless they're, like, throwing themselves against the side of the ship in an apparent attempt to murder me, then they're slightly less cute. Get blue, please. And I need yellow. That was easy. It's like two centimeters away, so of course that was easy. What do we got? A um, couple gold coins. We got a song. We got a blueprint for a door. Nothing too exciting. But so be it. here. Not too bad. I revised the server just a little bit last night. I lowered the difficulty level in the yellow zone. Noble saying it's too easy now, so we're going to find out, come to some kind of conclusion about that. 
I'm not going to stop for every piece of flotsam on the ocean either, because <laughs> I could do that all night. Where's Pi? I thought Pi would be here. I miss Pi. Oh no, my aloe spoiled. Whatever shall I do? My poor aloe. And my ramshackle sloop has a level. This is uh, the sloop you can buy from the vendor at Spawn. We do have a shipyard up. I think Pi put it up, but I haven't gotten around to actually building any ships yet, so we're just <laughs> we're just taking what we drove off the lot, so to speak. They added these after a week or so because people kept complaining about how hard it was to get a boat. Oh, you poor sods. So, you know, this is the noob boat. This is the nerfed version of the noob boat. Okay, there's the end of the world, folks. Get ready for a completely seamless experience as we transition from one server to the next. It's going to be so seamless you won't even know it happened. Um, no, I haven't. I didn't play long enough. I played for the first few days and everything was still rubber banding and horrible by that time. Um, but I'm sure it's valid in PvE, um, in, on the official servers, you know. Especially because they need to get people out of the free ports, because everybody starts in the free ports, and if there's already 120 people in the free ports, things just go very wrong. So I get it. I'm not saying that it doesn't make sense. It's just on um, private servers, it's kind of meh. And you can't turn it off. You, I don't have any control over the vendors at spawn. See? Seamless. And the wind changed seamlessly to exactly the opposite direction, and it's all completely seamless. Wait, we want about 60 degrees, I think. Okay, so I'm assuming this thing I'm passing here is not Squirrel Island. Let's check the map. Oh, it's not even showing up. Uh, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. No, that's, uh, this is one of the quest islands. Straight ahead, a little to the right. Yeah, I see it. I see where the ship is. I'm assuming that's where we're going. So basically the northeast section of this map. I need to do something about the clarity of the water here. Because um, on this zone in particular, it's like too clear and you can see all kinds of weird visual glitches when you get close to islands. Oh, yeah, apparently a lot of people broke their ship on that um, that 3G planet. Nobody realized that the gravity was so high and everybody was struggling to get off the ground. Was that the first checkpoint? I'm going to try for this guy. Looks like I'm going to be passing it close enough. Maybe. Did I get it? Oh, nice shot, Stately. GG. I got an onion, and it immediately spoiled. And some more blueprints, a couple more gold. Nothing to complain about. Nothing to write home about either, though. Okay, what am I coming up on here, and why is there... 
pirate sk skull ahead of me. Those are waypoint markers for the uh, PvE quest, which I haven't even started on yet. I don't know. Maybe Noble has. He's probably a little bit ahead of all of us by now. You know what I also noticed is that the join notifications don't seem to be working. I'm still tweaking some stuff on the server, so I'm sure other things will come up, but it seems like one of those things that shouldn't be too hard to fix. Okay, I'm going to level up the sloop just to make that thing go away. Ship options. Ship properties. Let's just keep going for the sturdiness. Where are we now? Just joined. Welcome. I'm Stately. This is our private PvE server. We got three map grids of increasing difficulty. I'm sailing into the second one in my ramshackle sloop, so I'm probably going to die, but I'm on my way to visit Noble on Squirrel Island. He is, if I'm not mistaken, right up to the right here. I actually need to... Turn a little bit, I think. I'm not entirely sure which one's Squirrel Island, but we might end up on, like, Doom Island instead, which is less cute than Squirrel Island. Sailing home across the ocean. You gonna pick up Atlas one of these days, DK? Seems like the kind of thing you might enjoy. One sec, guys. Oh, poop. I'm going to miss that, aren't I? No big. You can go sailing again like 80 crates if you wanted to in like an hour. I'm not saying there's not good stuff in there. There absolutely is. But you just can't stop for every single one. It's not practical. Was that the island with the devil on it? We were sailing around. It was like the first day and we stumbled upon one of the quest islands and there was this level 100 fire elemental on it that just... It wasn't good. Let's just say it wasn't good and leave it at that. I think it's that island. That's why we're not going there. Because I want to live. We do have, and I've said this a few times before, but we have capacity on the server for another server grid or possibly even two. I'm not going to do anything with those just yet because once you put up a server, you can't really take it out of the system again. So I'm going to hold off and kind of wait until I have an idea of what it is people want and what the server is missing before I do something with it. But I am tempted to make a PvP zone. I think it's one of those guys. So is the island you're on... Uh, PvE island? Uh, a quest island? Because I'm seeing like two islands up ahead. One of them has a sloop by the look of it. One of them has a raft. 
and both of them seem to be quest islands. Let's check the atlas. Yes, atlas has an atlas. Let's see. The HMS flat pack over here. Uh, the IDK sloop, here it is. That's where we're heading. Okay, that's easy. It's getting dark. Hope it doesn't get too cold. It's kind of lonely sailing out here all by myself. I should have taken my monkey. What was I thinking not taking my monkey with me? Okay. Tripped over the fireplace. That's a little better. Northeast ish, which is ish the direction we're supposed to be traveling. I think this one might be too far out, but let's let's give it a go. Yeah, I totally got a monkey. No, no. Oh yeah, I got it. Nice. More loot. I got an accordion song. These things have better range than I thought. I haven't, uh, sorry, did I say normal mocks? Mocks uh, trained me a monkey. I haven't um, done any animal training myself yet. That's a negative ghost rider. Okay. No big, no big. I already got like three crates out of this little trip. And I think we still got a ways to go, don't we? Sloop's leveling up a bunch. That's cool. Uh, Pi has already trained a bear. He's got a saddle on it and everything. He posted a picture on Discord of him um, with his bear on his raft, I think it is. It looks awesome. Ridiculous, but awesome. Ship options, ship properties, more sturdiness. All righty, Noble. I shall be along shortly. What is it with you and sodomy today? Did you learn a new word or something? It's your new favorite word. Yeah, eh, you're in middle school, so that tracks. Are we? He asked again. There yet. We are not there yet. But we're getting close. I don't know why that happened. See the top left of the map where that one region kind of seems to have re revealed itself to me? C'est un petit peu étrange, non? Ouais. I'm um I'm obviously jinxing it, but I'm very pleased that I haven't run into a million cyclones so far. Even just saying that can cause them. Yeah, exactly. This is a serious case of are we there yet? It's not like I'm trying to go thirty thousand light years to 
Colonia, but still. Wait, is Distant Worlds Colonia or Sagittarius A? Your lamb is pregnant. Are you managing to breed him? That's awesome. The display at the bottom left makes me a little sad. That's all of the ammo you can have on a ship, and I got none of it. We'll probably get a schooner going soon. Take on some ships of the damned. Although, if you watch my streams on the rented server a few weeks ago, um, <laughs> there were a few too many ships of the damned. Just like a couple dozen too many at one time kind of thing. But now I'm not seeing any, really. I haven't seen a single one since I left, and that seems... Not quite right. Like I said, still tweaking the server. And if you're watching and you're looking for a relaxed PvE server to join, hop on 1mc3.com slash discord and check out the Atlas channel for information on how to join. This is a long-term server project. I'm going to be running this indefinitely. And unless the game updates necessitate it, I don't intend to do any wipes. I want people to have the opportunity to build awesome stuff without... Um, without having to worry about all of their stuff going away. Okay, let's check the atlas again, because the lettering on here is just... tiny. Um, which one am I going to? I keep forgetting. This is the flat pack. Okay, well, I'm gonna... go to the discovery zone here because A, you get some XP, and B, that way I'll know where I am. Sitch hidden from blocked user. Did I block somebody? Who did I block? If I blocked you and you think I shouldn't have, just drop me a line on Discord and I'll unblock you. Let's take a look here. User hidden. Oh, it's driggy. I don't have the qubits thing up right now. Um, I'm kind of on an improvised setup right now. I got a new monitor a while back, and it's awesome, but I only have one monitor now instead of two. Um, and that's kind of irritating. Ruben, how are ya? Uh, drop me a line on Discord, uh, uh, Sex, and I'll, uh, I'll get you unblocked. Assuming you behave. Are we at the island yet? Wasn't there supposed to be an island here? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's right there. See? Coming right up on it. Well, over to the right here. All right, good to see you. So, guys, uh, this goes for all of you. If you are interested in picking up Atlas, I do recommend it. It is still early access. It does have some glitches, but all of the things you've been hearing on YouTube about how terrible it is are fundamentally pretty much just untrue. You're banned from the Discord, too. <laughs> Ah, oh. all right. Let's uh, let's see. I think you're unblocked now. Maybe somebody else on. Um... Whoa! Hello, big rocks. Let's avoid the big rocks. I just need to get on the island to see what it is here. The fog didn't help, and the fact that I was trying to moderate Discord with one hand while sailing with the other doesn't help either. Okay, am I going to stop before I hit something? Just barely. Yeah, the problem with the... Um, with the sloop is not so much turning, it's how to stop turning. 
I love the grappling hook. I have found Languid Isle. Excellent. I mean, perhaps not excellent, but I got some XP for it. We can take a quick look around. Unless you're, like, standing there waiting for me, Noble, in which case I can hop back in the boat. This is very rocky and probably very deadly. I don't see any signs of life here. You got a new Ubuntu machine. I run Ubuntu on our Minecraft server. Um, and I like it perfectly well. I had f I had Debian for the longest time. Um, but I've found that there are fewer setup and compatibility issues with Ubuntu. So I'm perfectly happy with it. This server, um, I had to install Windows on it because the Linux binaries for the server code aren't available yet. But I don't know if I'm ready to... Um, to switch to Linux from a desktop OS. I don't know if I ever will be, frankly. Uh, okay, let's uh, turn the ship around just a little. I'm not turning, that's a problem. I'm not turning because I'm anchored. Hey, thank you for the follow, I appreciate that. That's very kind of you. You're a good, good person. I haven't seen the name come by yet, so I don't know who the good, good person is, but can we retract the anchor now, please? Raise anchor. Thank you. And, okay, I'm sl slowly turning. I just need to make sure I'm not going to bash into the beach when I depart. This ship is... Again, it's one of the ships you can buy at spawn. So it's a regular sloop, it just has much lower durability across the board. Which means you need to be much more careful about bashing it into shoals and stuff. It's a temporary thing. It's just a ship to get around in until I get a shipyard going and get a good ship set up. And then sink it five minutes later because that's how I roll yo. All right, that was Languid Isle. Languid Isle is, I, oh, look, what's up there? Some kind of predator? You see that guy on the top of the mountain with the long tail? I'm not sure what it is. Probably gonna eat my face though, if I go up there. I didn't think the leopard would eat my face. And it looks like we're pretty much on course. Minor adjustment here. Is this the island I'm going to, Noble? Because that looks evil. That looks like an evil island. I mean, look at that island. Tell me, oh, it also looks like Dildo Island. I shall dub it Evil Dildo Island. Really? Squirrel Island is Evil Dildo Island? Okay. Onwards to Evil Dildo Island, then. I just decided I'm going to say Evil Dildo Island at least 600 more times during this stream. You need to be able to press escape to close the sail rotation menu. It's a pain in the ass. Right? <laughs> Noble has a new favorite word. I have a new favorite island name. It's only fair. Uh, what side of the island are you on? Let's check the map and see where his boat is. That should give us a good indication. In a little harbor? Or are you around back? Sodom Island. <laughs> GR. All right. Sounds good.
I might not do that. I might just park off the coast and take it from there. This is um, a Power Stone Island, isn't it? There's a PvE quest baked into the game where you have to go fight a bunch of different bosses in order to get... I'm not, I'm not even sure what the reward is. I mean, seriously, I have no clue. And, oh, that's me. That's not the sloop. I gotta level up. I gotta level up. I'm actually sitting on, like, 20 points that I haven't spent yet. I haven't really decided what I'm gonna specialize in. Probably shipbuilding. That's kind of good fun. Or maybe I'll just be a jack-of-all-trades. Yeah, that's what I'm figuring if this is the way to get there. The fog makes it kind of hard to see whether this is a harbor or not so much. I'm hot. Seriously? I'm on a boat on the ocean. How hot can I be? Oh yeah, I see where you are. It looks like I'm heading into the harbor you mentioned. Hopefully. Otherwise, I might just have to swing back. Oh, the waterfall just popped into view. Like, just as you said that. Mind you, it doesn't look like a waterfall. It looks like a giant piss fall, but that's probably just the, the rising sun reflecting off of it. <clears throat> It's a river of blood. Yellow blood. Yellow snow, sir. Can I eat it? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut one sail just so that I can navigate a little bit better. God, this game is pretty. Look at this. Look how just stupidly pretty this game is. I didn't have to close the sail quite so early, did I? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, um, I'm reasonably sure you should never eat the yellow show, snow. With goldfish and catfish. Oh, nice little fishing pond. I am in favor of nice little fishing ponds. You're right, though. This is a nice-looking island. I'm kind of dead in the water here. And the worst thing is, if I want to go any farther into this harbor, I'm going to have to go directly against the wind. So I'll probably park over where Noble Sloop is. And we'll head in from there. I think I'm out of arrows. I forgot to look look at that before I left, but I was I was out earlier and I don't think I ever got around to making new ones. So I'm gonna have to alleviate that before I do much else. There's Noble Sloop. Look at that. we got the beginnings of an armada going here. Oh, good. It looks like it's pretty big and probably very hard to navigate. I mean, I don't, I don't see how you could get up some of these things with, with less than, you know, giant stamina and 12 sets of climbing picks because they break so easily. <laughs> I think we're just about there. So let's just... Can I anchor here? It doesn't look like I can anchor here. <sighs> the anchoring thing is very frustrating. It, 
it's incredibly hard to find a place where you can actually anchor your ship. I don't know if it's too shallow for me or not shallow enough. I guess I don't technically have to, at least for now. Wingsuits, but you can't go up with wingsuits, right? You can only go down. Okay, I can anchor here. Fully close sail. And when you're on the wheel, you can hit X to drop the anchor. Okay, we have arrived. Let's take a look at the supply situation. Not too hungry, not too thirsty. I got basically just some stuff we dragged out and never unloaded. But a little bit of everything. Um, what I need is this and this and this, if I'm not mistaken, for arrows. Only seven, really. Not enough fiber. Haha! -ha. I fooled you. I have 750 more fiber hidden away. Uh, zip lines too. There's uh, uh, zip lines you can get. They'll also let you go down easily, but not much use if you're trying to go up. Okay, let's park all of this stuff. And honestly, these blueprints I don't really need either right now. Treasure map. The treasure maps are much harder when you have uh, three zones because you have to actually ma match the map with uh, the environment. And if there's just one map, you know you're not going to have to go very far for for one of those. But when you have when you have this many maps and you haven't explored everything, half of them are just like uh, that doesn't look familiar. Looks like you made kind of a bunker here. Excellent. Look at that. You got a you got a whole setup going on here, man. That's excellent. Pete's asleep inside. Come on, Pete, wake up! And Noble has a bear, too. Named the Sodomy Enforcer. Because of course it is! Is this like a single ride? Can I can I tag along? I guess not. Some mobs have um, multiple saddle slots. Um, I'm told that giraffes can carry three people around. That's okay. I'll, um... I'll have to get the skill set before I can even do anything. This is nicely done, Noble. That's practical. God, they're so big. These bears are like stupid big. Okay, I'll try not to scare your sheep into having a miscarriage. I'm so looking forward to riding a giraffe on stream. You have no idea how much I'm looking forward to that. He got the big old arc. Um... Oh, dude, this guy has a carriage. Can we ride in the carriage, or is this just for freight? Oh, I should close the door, huh? Because I totally want to ride in the carriage. Um... Is this your Pregger's ram? Man, you put a lot of time into this already. It's so weird constantly being surrounded by teenagers in their attempts at humor. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. I totally get it. She got... Yes, I get it. It's a double entendre. A pun. A poon. A play on words, if you will. Oh, I should level up. Level up. What shall I get, guys? Talk to me. I can get health or carry capacity or stamina or fortitude. And I have no idea what intelligence does, so I'm not going to get that. Do 
You darn millennials. Noble isn't even a millennial. He's like generation whatever comes after Z. Does it just restart? Once you've done Z, do you just go back to A? Is he generation A2? You know we're going to have to haul Mox out here and load a bunch of bears on a boat and stuff, right? What kind of hostiles are on this island? Anything good? I mean, bad? So just the basics, nothing ridiculous. I just want to see what the deal is with these red trees. Are these the ones that grab sap if you harvest them? No. Straw and rushes, that's not interesting. Hemp, blackberries. Okay, I seem to remember there being something about red trees in a previous life. Nope, nothing special. Post millennials? Okay, I guess. I mean, if millennials are people who came of age with the internet around the turn of the millennium, and you have to call the people who came after that something. Okay, well, I managed to get up. I'm not sure I'm going to manage to get down. That might be a little bit problematic. Oh dear, that's not... Eh, it's not as bad as I thought. I didn't, like, break a leg or anything. Stamina. Alright, DK says I need to put my points in stamina. And I have 35... <laughs> I have 35 skill points available. Just gonna hang on to those for now. But if you guys want me to do some farming or do some taming or something, I got the points to spare. So you said the mobs are suddenly way too low level here, right? This guy, man. Yeah, level four seems kind of low, doesn't it? Oh, we got a predator here. Oh, no, that's just a cow. And that's all of them, not just the passive mobs? I haven't seen any hostile ones yet. I don't know, man. I mean, I horses are awesome, obviously. Yay, horses. I'm pro-horse. Uh, that said, if you have the opportunity to ride around on a saddled-up bear, would you ever even consider using a horse? Because I'm thinking that's no contest, man. This is an awesome island. To run from a saddle bear. The horses are faster, I assume. Yeah, no, I've I've no doubt that they are. So yeah, plenty of fresh water here. That's rare. A lot of these islands have no fresh water at all. You have to use barrels or something to to keep supplied. And that's not a bad thing necessarily. It's not that hard to to not die of thirst. But, you know, something to be said for just going for a swim, hitting zero, and your water skin's full again. Is this not the catfish pond? I don't see any fishes in this pond. I think that might be a turtle. No, it's just a rock. It's a turtle-shaped rock. I'm not sure what the deal is with the water on this map. I'm going to have to look into that, too. I didn't do anything myself about it. I copy and pasted some data from a different uh, map setup, but I, I'm pretty sure the water should be a little less transparent than that. But what do we got here? Are you taming this cow? Was somebody taming this cow? Because there is a cow here that's, like, almost tamed. Maybe that's just torpor? Maybe a snake got him? Oh, snake. Check. 
Okay, where are you at, Snake? Oh, jeez, a giant bee. Seriously? I just killed a bee with an arrow. Just killed. My bow bow broke. Come on! I have to kill this bee with my bare hands? Here, I'm gonna slice him in half with my sword. <laughs> giant bees, people! And a ferret? There's ferrets! Oh no, it's just a flat-headed sheep. That's too bad. I thought it was a ferret. I'm not a biologist. Ferrets, sheep, they all have four legs and ears and heads and shit. What do you expect me to think? Can I repair my bow? Do I have what I need to repair it? I do not. Can I simply not repair it here? I just need a few hides. Um, which would be a lot easier to get if I had a bow. Okay, I don't know why you came over here. Ah, okay. That's a problem. Ah, oh, shoot. And me without my bow. I didn't really see what level that guy was. The low-level ones still really hurt, though. They can still cause you an awful lot of damage. Note to self, don't go exploring without a bow. You still behind me? effect, but at least they didn't get killed. Corpse run would have been irritating. Alright, let's head on back, gear up, get my bow fixed. I need to find a few hides. I can probably find something to kill, otherwise I know there are some on the boat, and I have no doubt Noble has some. Come on! Torpor can go away now, please, and thank you, and please, and thank you. Oh, jeez, there's like a bee a hundred miles away coming this way. Seriously. No, he's decided against it. No guns yet? Okay, I can, um, yeah, I can learn firearms. I think I have enough points to... Uh, to get into that. <clears throat> I think we'll all be happier with a flintlock. I found Catfish Island. I mean, Catfish Pond. I mean, Pond Island. It's not a pond. Have I found the ocean? I don't know, it doesn't look like the ocean to me. Although it does seem to have sharks in it. Oh yeah. That's kind of an ocean thing, right? Seriously, a level 161 alpha shark? Farewell, dear friends. It was nice knowing you. But I'm torpored and I have a 161 alpha shark on my ass, so this is where I die. Why am I so slow? Okay, well, I got away from the shark somehow, and I got away from the giant angry snake. Twilight, what's up, man? Doo-doop. Doo-doop. Do doop do doop do doop. I'm lost, by the way. Yeah, I guess so. I don't see where that's connected to the ocean, but it clearly counts as ocean because you don't get sharks in freshwater lakes. I'm just saying. Yeah, no, it absolutely is. Fortunately, I have a map. 
and I'm oh, I'm way on the other side of the island. I need to be heading south, and I'm heading north. And that's a rattlesnake. Oh, come on. I'm kind of useless without a projectile weapon, so this is getting problematic. It's not that I have any amazing gear I can't live without. So if I do die, it's not the end of the world, but I'd, you know, rather not. I want to live. I'm too pretty to die. There are freshwater sharks. Yes, I know, Noble, but not in this game, right? Okay, we can put the map away now. I know I'm going the wrong direction at least. And I need to be headed that away. Yeah, Pi mentioned that last night when we were playing. Said you sailed right over it. Look at the texture quality, guys. That is amazing. 4K high def textures. Seriously, this is north? That looked like a child's painting. I need to be going south, not north. I'm an idiot. It is known. Yeah, right. I'm telling you, like, 50% of this game is just running away from things. After a while, you get really good at it. And I'm hesitant to engage anything without a ranged weapon because... Am I even wearing armor? Am I even wearing clothes? I am! I need a haircut. Also, my dude in-game needs a haircut. Alright. Heading back. Hopefully, I will survive this. Actually, I'm getting a little hungry. Let's eat some things. Berries. Remember, guys, the server isn't um, completely open to the public. It is password protected. But if you hop on 1mc3.com slash discord and check out the Atlas channel, the login information and password are right there. You are welcome to join. It's dedicated hardware. We have three different maps and theoretically a capacity of about 100 players. Now, I don't think we'll ever reach that, but definitely more than three. The birds have, oh jeez, another snake. The birds have somewhat strange physics. It's not terrible, but they, they seem to be really good at just hovering. There's another asshole snake. Fortunately, my stamina is decent and I'm not heavily loaded, so I can keep running for a little while. I ran so far away. Yes, I ran. I ran all night and day. Have you been up to the top of any of these large pillars yet, Noble? It seems like it's going to be very challenging to get up to the top of the highest ones. No veggie seeds. What I do when I'm walking around normally is I'll just, like, keep the E button pressed, and along the way you'll just pick up all kinds of stuff. Oh god, now there's angry bees after me. I do kind of enjoy punching bees in the nose. It's entertaining. Well, we can always bring some in from another island. I don't envision that being terribly hard. What do we got here? Berries. Not that there's anything wrong with berries. It's just not what we're looking for. And if you're on the fence about picking up the game, I mean, considering that it's an early access, it works surprisingly well. It's rough around the edges here and there, but a lot of the um, earliest issues were resolved very, very quickly. And a lot of the issues that the official servers have 
don't even occur on private servers. Right? It's really not bad. Uh, I think I found Catfish Pond or Lake or whatever you're calling it. Look, look at what? Look at oh, what a giant snake out to get me. Yeah, no, they look delicious. Okay, I need to be heading more or less west. More or less this way. Bring home some dinner. I'm thinking I can probably scare up some catfish. Which one shall we? Oh, you guys. You guys look yummy. Oh, God, the hitboxes on these guys. Come on! I'm like right on top of them. Hmm. There we go. Great. I stopped for three frickin' seconds to get some fish. And immediately an asshole snake bites me in the butt. Oh, this is a great map, though. I'm looking forward to finding some place to set up shop here. Am I even going the right way? I think I am. I get turned around a lot. Well, I got something. And I am heading... Oh, jeez. The exact opposite of the direction I'm supposed to be heading. And there's another asshole snake. And that's where I'm supposed to be going. West. West, people. Remember, West. If you find me going East, you can call me an idiot on stream. I mean, you can call me an idiot on stream anyway, because I kind of am, but you know what I mean. A level 11 giant ant? Yeah, it'll probably kill me. Never underestimate anything in this game, because everything and anything in this game can and probably will murder you. Oh, come on. Now what? What is attacking me? I don't even see it. Oh, it's a level 2 giant ant. I'm going to die to a level 2 giant ant, folks. <laughs> that was awesome, Noble. That was just fun to look at. Bears versus bees, folks. You heard it here first. I'm just going to follow Noble because I assume he knows where we're going. Doesn't have a chance. Hey, look! I made it back. Somehow. And I'm not dead. Somehow. The bears are not hostile if you don't bother them. Which is kind of them. Neither are the boars. Although they can be kind of assholes if you accidentally hit one when you're harvesting resources. So I've seen um, mobs up to about level 10 here. Just wandering around. That still seems a little low, obviously. We need to maybe undo the debuffs just slightly. Let's see if there's some hides here so that I can fix my bow. These chests are empty. Uh, workbench, maybe? Otherwise, probably the tannery. Oh, look at this. Plenty. 
but I still can't repair it. Zero out of three hides. Oh, that's not hides, that's keratin or whatever it is. That's alright, I found some in the smithy. I mean the smithy inside. I only need like three. Um, and I have some resources on the boat as well. Okay, alright, so I got a working bow again. I still have a couple of arrows. I feel a lot better now. I think I'm going to go gather up a little bit of resources so I can make some more arrows. Silver. Found a silver load here, nice. And what else do I need? I need wood and I think fiber. The best way to get fiber is still to just walk around randomly. High quality island might actually be able to make some of those uh, blueprint items here. The way the blueprints work is actually kind of interesting. There are um, blueprints for enhanced versions of pretty much everything in the game that you can find. But the enhanced versions require specific varieties of materials. And sometimes it requires two, sometimes it requires three, depending on how good the quality is. So the idea is kind of that you have to... Um, you have to have a good supply of different things before you can reliably make the 26 plus what I have. Highest level needs six. Yikes. And you can buy them from the vendors at the Freeport. Um, so if you're like, you know, three hemp short of a god bow, you can go get it and just pay through the teeth for it. And there's nothing wrong with that. So we're right up on the edge of the red zone. Have you been to the red zone yet, Noble? No? Not feeling it? The rocks look like heads. They look kind of like Easter Island um, monoliths. Really? Okay. Just some non-existent bamboo there. So I am apparently... Oh, okay. Is it thatch or fiber? Let's find out. Bamboo. Really? I'm starving already? I thought I just ate. Anyways, I have food. I'm just gonna nom down on piles and piles of berries and aloe vera. I've gotta keep an eye on my vitamin levels, but for now I'm still fine. Problem is you have to eat a lot of this stuff to get your health back up. Well, that's a delicious looking cow. Any bulls nearby? Because if you attack a cow and there's a bull nearby, bad things happen. All right, I'll see if I can contribute a little bit to the stew. Really? Come on, that was a perfect hit. There we go. And I'm just checking to see if any bulls are about to charge me. They get pissy when you kill their mates. Mmm, delicious leather. Okay, I got some extra meat for the stew. Alpha pig over here. Level 99. So, I'm seeing, like, a lot of mobs that are levels, you know, 10 and 11. Um, what should the cap be in the yellow zone, do you think? Because this stuff would have been maybe level 30 or something like that before. 20 to 40. 
That seems pretty reasonable to me as well. Oh, the cookie pot's outside, isn't it? Let's drop this. Let's get the prime roast going. And let's see, I did chop down some wood for fuel too. Oh, we're gonna eat good tonight. Oh, there's a thought. I know you can use them to like maul trees and get massive amounts of supplies, which seems like a really good idea. Okay, so my job for today, I'm going to teach myself firearms and I'm cold. Really? Really? I'm like dressed, I'm standing close to a fire, it's seven degrees centigrade, I should be fine. But I'll tell you what, I'll go inside while we do this. We'll get a fire going in there, it'll be comfy and cozy and I'll be happy and I'll tell you man, as far as survival games go, this one is very big on the survival. You don't have any heat sources set up in here, Noble. It is, uh, it's fine. Unless I'm freezing, it's no big deal. So, all right, let's see. We want to learn to make flintlocks and shiznit. That is down the archery tree. Unlock firearms. That's gonna cost me 26 of my 35 skill points. But I also learned to make grenades and that's it. And then under firearms, we need the pistol basics. And that's that's it. That's all I really need for flintlocks and bullets. Still have some points to spare. So let's see. Reload concentration decreases the difficulty. Blah, blah, blah. Pistol steady aim. Reduces the shaking of weapons. That's just for bows? That's odd. This is in the firearms tree, but it looks like it only applies to bows. You keep crashing? I don't know what kind of crashes. Are you getting any kind of error message or anything like that? All right, that's all I really need right now. Just the ability to make a flintlock. And then we'll, um... We'll see what we need for them. Flint lock. Oil. Wood. Hide. Flint. All of that's easy. Metal is the only thing I don't have enough of. Are there any good metal deposits here, Noble? Or do we just need to hit rocks and get what we can? transferring some of this stuff out of my inventory because I don't really need it at all. Not that I mind hitting rocks for metal, but if there are veins or something where we can get some stuff faster, I'd obviously much rather do that. Um, the biggest issues I've seen have been uh, memory related. Um, maybe try launching it in low memory mode or make sure you don't have too many other applications running. I'm freezing. Are we having a cold front, or is it always this cold here at night? It's minus three, that's not completely insane. I'm gonna have to take the... <laughs> I almost thought that was a rock for a second. That would have been a very unfortunate mistake to make. Uh, we got a, an alpha monkey over here. Level 76. Oh. 
Let me just warm up a little bit. And now I'm no longer freezing. Si bueno. Metal here. Oh, look, there's spare metal here. Let's take the stuff that we grabbed and play lock. Craft one. Craft one. The ever living but Jesus is that. Like a giant tick or something? It's never stood a chance, whatever it is. It looked like a giant tick. Spoon! Sorry, different tick. Really? Was that a spider? Looked like a tick to me, man. Okay, two flint locks. Now we need some simple bullets, for which I need gunpowder. And gunpowder is um, flint and charcoal, which is all pretty easy to get. So let's go ahead and see what's in here. Nothing. Go check out the fire for charcoal. That should be fine. Didn't mean to put it out. I do that like half of the time I open on anything. Uh, okay, 330 charcoal. Excellent. Transfer 191 flint, and now we make all the gunpowders. Kachunk, 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 kachunk. It would be nice, by the way, if you could make the stuff that you can make without any kind of tools in the smithy. It's kind of irritating to have to transfer stuff back and forth between your personal inventory and the smithy inventory. Not obviously the end of the world. Just mildly irritating. I'm going to feel so much better once I have a flintlock in my hand. fog visuals really are nice it's a shame about the some of the textures i mean this this is not par for the course most of the textures don't look like this but some of the alpha mapping is just awful and this is reasonably sharp right you get up close it looks pretty good there's no bump mapping by the look of it which is you know whatever but then you look at this and it's just it's like an abstract painting when you get close Almost done. I think that's enough. Man. A bear of yours makes the entire world shake. Okay. Simple bullet. Hey, your bear leveled up. Did you end up finding any fish? Yeah, just one. Oh, they're cooking. I'm gonna eat one. Your bear went fishing. Awesome. Okay, so we got flint locks and we got bullets. Now the bullets are still in progress.
So if I want to be able to ride anything, I have to get Beastmaster. Even if I'm not taming them myself, I still have to have the skill. So I'm going to see if I can manage that. Transfer. Not one. All of them, you blithering dolt of the game. That's not what I was trying to do, but whatever. Close enough. 69 and 59. All right, Noble, I have for you a flintlock and 60 bullets. I suspect that's enough to cause some reasonably significant damage. Shall I put them in your bear's inventory, or shall I just drop them on you? There's the bullets right under your bear. And did I leave the flintlocks in the... I think I might have left him in here. Yep. There's one for you. And one for me. Excellent. It's like 12 seconds before I can equip it. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. So are there like different qualities of saddles and things that you can put on things like bears? Are the saddles unique to individual animals, by the way? Now we get to play the reload mini game. So it's just a saddle's a saddle. One saddle for each tier of animal, okay. Oops. I lazied out on that last one, but apparently it didn't matter. So if I shoot this guy in the head. Oh, he's level one. That would do the trick. I just have no real need to shoot him in the head right now. Dude, trippy. Let's see if I can get Beast Mastery. I uh, still have uh, just five points, probably not. I think it's under survival. Here, Beast Mastery. No, I can. I can get the unlock anyway. And then writing tier one. But writing tier two. Two is going to cost me four more points, so that's going to be probably another two levels. So let's level up a little bit. Oh, that didn't work. Hey, steal my kill much. I'm kidding, it's all good. Also, I've been gored. Well, we're not going to starve, that's for sure. I guess uh, Tannery is probably a good place to park leather. I have more of some of these materials than I'm ever likely to need. At least for the foreseeable future. This... We'll drop these, obviously. Transfer this over, and uh, that lights up my inventory pretty well. Let's get the meats, the various meats. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, Pi has a bit of experience with it. Um, I think he's worked out how the... how the uh, water pipes and stuff work at least, which is more than I can say. All right, there's, there's more food in here that we're gonna need for months. An apiary, can you do that? That sounds cool. I'm totally pro apiaries. And this is just redundant. It's just gonna rot anyway, so I might as well chuck it. And this is fresh water, right? Is. Oh, that's beautiful. Fresh water right next door. What's not to love, man? So 
I kind of just need to grind some levels, um, what are there any level one creatures worth taming and riding? Because I'm not quite, I don't quite have enough XP to get up to level two yet. Oh, that's the wrong one. The pick is for metals. Sheep. Yeah, okay, I'll pass. I'm not really all that interested in riding a sheep around. I haven't done any taming yet. This is the first time I actually got the skill, and honestly, it's just kind of so that I can eventually ride things. Born is a good tier one. There's an angry ant. So they say giant ants, but I mean, look at that guy. That's not a giant ant. I mean, that's a slightly above average ant, maybe. Oh, suicidal water ant. Seriously? Hitboxes on these mobs are awful. Come on, ant. I need your XP. Come on! Screw it. I'm shooting arrows at an ant here. It's got to be pretty high on the list of the most ridiculous things I've ever tried to do in a video game. Kill some sheep instead. What? Oh, the ant's like, you forgot about me, huh? Oh, no, it's a bee. Come on, bee. Does that bee have a weapon? Oh, no, that's a, an arrow hanging out of him. That's ridiculous. Oh, now the ant's like, I'm going to come and get you, too. What is with these unhittable ants? There we go. Bloody hell. Do they drop anything or am I just wasting my time here? They do not seem to drop anything. Yeah, do you want me there for the blessed occasion? Uh, he might be glitched. I've had that happen before where you kill something and it doesn't drop anything. It just kind of sits there. I don't know, man. It's entirely possible that I don't want to see this shit. I'm sad that Pi didn't make it today. Or Mox or Zippy. Just you and me holding down the fort, Noble. We need more players. You know what? I have a flintlock. I don't need to mess around with a bow anymore unless I want to. Sorry, Crow. Nothing personal. Roger that, Noble. Oh, much obliged. Are they good at digging up resources? I'll bet the boars are. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up one of these empty chests up here to gather stone and other redundant materials. I'm trying to get to stone building, but the issue is always that once you can finally build stuff with stone, it takes forever to dig it all up. So I'm trying not to not to throw too much away. I'll just try to save it all as I pick it up. And we'll put everything else in this for now. I'm obviously going to build my own little base somewhere at some point. But for now, I'm just going to mooch off Noble because it's easier that way. So in order to tame, it's basically the same thing as Ark. You have to get them injured down to a certain level, and then you have to bulla them, and then you have to feed them whatever specific food it is that helps you tame them. I haven't done any of that yet. Um, I'm not sure which mobs take which food. I will, but for right now, I'm mostly really just interested in being able to ride these things and 
gather lots of resources because gathering up wood and thatch and fiber, it all gets real old. Chert. Lots and lots of chert. I don't even know what chert is. I'm just in it for the silver. <coughs> Excuse me. My new mouse arrived yesterday. It's like a Chinese clone of a Logitech G600. But I think I like it better than my old Logitech G600. Mostly because it hasn't shit the bed on me yet, obviously. But it also just feels more sturdy. So, I'm going to have to get uh, metals so that I can get a flintlock to Pete and one to Mox. I'm sure they're going to be want to be able to shoot stuff too. And as of right now, I have... What have I got? 34. I'm probably going to need 150 or so. But that's alright. We'll just chop rocks and take the occasional pot shot at something if I think it'll give me some XP. Speaking of which, I need to not forget to reload this thing. There's nothing quite as useless as a flintlock that you forgot to load. There we go. You can have multiple. You can have two flintlocks. You can have one in your offhand, I think. Then you can just fire one, fire the other, but then you still have to reload both of them, so... How much you've accomplished at that point, I'm not sure. But being able to get two shots in a row off will kill pretty much anything up to about level 10 if you hit him in the head. And remember folks, if you're watching and you want to join us, the server is password protected, but you're welcome to hop on 1mc3.com slash discord. Check out the Atlas channels for detail on how to get in. This is a dedicated PVE server. It's running on uh, rented hardware. Um, we got a 4-core i5 at approximately 3.6 gigahertz. It's the real deal. It's not some cheap-ass rented server. Set it up from scratch, designed the map myself. Oh god, now I get to do the slow walk. I'm gonna drop some shit because I don't, daily don't do the slow walk. Life's too short. Didn't I just... Oh, I split it, but I didn't drop it. There we go. Nope, still slow walking. Drop more chert. Whee! I can jump tall rocks in a single bound. Okay, metal goes there. That should be enough for two flint locks. I need more for the bullets, though. I feel kind of bad using silver for that, but hey, silver flint locks. Tell me that's not a pirate thing. Tell me with a straight face that silver flint locks isn't a pirate thing. Hmm? I dare you. A double dog dare you. I don't even know what a double dog dare is, but I'm doing it anyway. I'm double dog daring you to say it. please. be nice if we could find some actual metal veins. The rocks will drop metal, and it's not bad. I mean, you get a decent amount. On the rented server we had a few weeks ago, well, I guess it's only a week ago, we found one island that had like four copper veins. We could just go there and dig all day and come back with enough copper to Put cannons on two or even three ships. It was pretty awesome. Hello, sheep. Again, I'm just doing this for the XP. I feel bad, but... Oh, jeez. 
And they don't die and you have to go put an arrow in their ass after the fact. Really? How is that not a hit? Come on. This is like an invulnerable sheep. It's got like an ass shield or something. Yep, killing sheep and hitting rocks. Aren't you glad you tuned in? In spite of all of that, I still have better viewership numbers than Fox Business News. Three people watching, which is, like I said, two more than Fox. Oh, hello. Are you having a nice clip? Look at this. It's like a trophy head. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, metal supply is coming along. I should have about 120 now. And oil is what we're running out of. I have some spare oil here. And that comes mostly from fish. So what I think I'm going to go do is... <clears throat> and this is embarrassing. Uh, but I think I'm going to go flintlock fishing. Okay, let me get these started. Oh, I don't actually need more oil. I only need to make two of these. There's one for pie and one for... One for mocks. And then I just need metal um, for the bullets and charcoal. The charcoal's never hard to go. Really? Really? Oh, fine. You know, I've been hungry before, but I don't make these noises when I'm hungry. All right, all right. Stop being so dramatic. We go from slightly peckish to dying of hunger in one fell swoop. Now I still need to eat some more, though. And yeah, my vitamin levels are fine. There's nothing to worry about there. It's just my hunger levels are... Right, let's get professional about this. I'm just going to start scarfing this stuff down. Or like a condemned man's last meal. Which, you know, it could be. Alright. I am fed. I have, oh, now I have vitamin poisoning, guys. Vitamin poisoning gives you infrared vision, for the record. You're making a Triforce 3D print. What kind of printer do you use, Ruben? That's awesome, for the record. That's pretty damn cool. some more ultimaker nice i'm telling you man this vitamin poisoning is worse than vitamin shortage that's a good printer did you see my latest print i posted on discord a long time ago i made a fairly nice nuka cola blaster prop from fallout um i'm very pleased with how it turned out let's see we'll put the in here, although we're not nearly out of anything, and let's make all the gunpowder, and go find more metal, because guns are not useless without, not useful without bullets, by the way, I keep forgetting to reload. I wasn't paying attention to the mini game. There goes my reload speed. Poopy. <laughs> Thanks, Ruben. You should post a picture when your print's done. People always love to see that shit. No. No metal. More, please. No 
nobles. Oh, nobles back. <clears throat> hey, where did you say the uh, the quest mob spawns here? What are you making in your STEM class? Are you making a 3D printer in your STEM class? Sweet. I'm looking forward to seeing that. That's very cool. Really? How do I not have the materials to repair this damn thing? Wooden fibers. What? Fibers are not hard to come by and neither is wood. But... See any fibers nearby? Should be over there. Is this fiber? Not fiber. This fiber? Well, that's not even harvestable, that's just. whatever. A hydroponic grow bed for. what did, what did they. What did they teach you hydroponics for? I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that. That's that's a perfectly legitimate thing to be learning. It just seems odd, is all. Okay, the stone is going in the chest. I bet. No, fair enough. I mean, it's it's definitely science and possibly a little bit of engineering. No doubt about that. It just seems oddly specific. Oh. A sheep died. Did you see that, Noble? Did something get to the sheep? You're hot. Oh, I know I'm hot. helps. Let's see how many bullets we can make now. That'll probably be enough, actually. I don't know what happened. I just saw the notification. I was wondering why you had it, like, in a pen with a fire. That just seems like a recipe for suicide. Okay. So, there are two flintlocks and about a hundred bullets in the workbench here. That's one for Mox and one for Pi. Uh, fair enough. Uh, there's... are there heat sources that won't set sheep on fire? Could you maybe, like, separate them by a fence or something? I don't know how this works. You almost certainly know better how this works than I do. Um, but that said, you know, it seems like just having the thing stuck in with the fire is unfortunate. Why do I keep slipping off of this? Whatever, it's not a big deal. Sodomy is a felon. I think the word you're looking for is felony. Unless you know a guy named Sodomy who committed a crime. And I'm going to be honest with you. If my name were Sodomy, I would probably have committed several crimes by now. I still can't fix my freaking pick. Oh, it's a metal pick. I can't fix it anyway. I have to go to the workbench. To the workbench. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Do I have any veggies? Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, come on over and I'll give you some. Let's see. Okay, put this here. And a lot of stone weapons here. Right click. And I still can't repair it, really? Why not? No metal. I used all the metal for bullets. 
Duh, okay. Uh, here you go, Noble. You can have cilantro. Oh. I dropped it under the thing. Sorry. You can still pick it up, though. Okay. Go get some metal to fix my pick. And no worries, man. That looks like a good rock to hit. I'm looking forward to hitting this rock. Only thing is, this isn't the right thing to hit it with. And that's all I need. I just needed two metal. So there we go. Problem solved. <laughs> See, that seems like the kind of thing that people would complain about at a PTA meeting. Are you teaching my child to grow weed? No, ma'am, we're teaching your entire child to grow industrial hemp. It has many uses. It's the way of the future. Uh, all right, I'm fixing my tool. While I'm babbling to myself, I'm fixing my tool. There we go. All right. I feel accomplished. I learned new stuff. I built stuff. I barely died. Oh, it's absolutely pretty pretty cool stuff. Um, I agree with you completely there. I mean, it's hands-on. How often do you get to do anything hands-on at school these days? What do you use for a paint and primer ribbon? You have farm animals. Do you like put them in pens by open flame and let them set themselves on fire when they're pregnant? Or did they not teach you that part yet? Mm, there's nothing here I really need. There's a blank map. There's something weird going on with the maps. Occasionally they come out blank. I'm not sure why. I got a, well, it's a journeyman. That's probably going to be like level 30 or something. No, I mean, what kind of paint and primer do you plan on using? Sorry if I wasn't clear there. I see. That makes sense. I just assumed that the uh, map would still show up. Because we have blank regions now. It's possible that some of these maps are just useless. Uh, but next stream, maybe tomorrow or the day after, I think we should um, we should go do a, do one of these quests and see how the levels on those look. I don't know that nerfing the island level changes them. I don't think so, to be honest. I need new coils for my vape. The thing is getting kind of icky. Should have gone out today, but it's been pissing down all day. It's just nasty out there. What do you think? Should we do that tomorrow, Noble? Do a little stream, head out, and um, go kick an army of the dam's ass. Hopefully, we can get Pete to come along. I think for today that's going to do it. I have to go out and um, put the carnitas in the Instapot. I probably won't log off. I think I'll just hang out here for a little while. But um, I'm going to end the stream there. So thank you guys for watching. Ruben, it was good to see you again. DK, I don't know if you're still there. Chip, everybody else, appreciate it. And um, hope to see you next time. Y'all take it easy and peace out, guys.